Are you feeling overwhelmed with work right now in your business and you're wondering how you can possibly fit everything into the time that you have? You're looking at other people maybe and thinking, how do they do it all and fit everything into a certain amount of time? Well, one of the biggest pieces of advice that I can give to you would be to start tracking your time, do an audit of the activities that you're currently doing in your business. And then this is gonna help you to figure out where potentially you're spending the most time and where things could be streamlined, where you might be wasting time and where you need to be shifting your tasks so that you're focused more on what you want to prioritize as well. And the best way to get started in this process is by doing a time tracking exercise. I like to use a time tracking tool to help me with this. So in this case, I'm gonna show you the tool Toggle and how you can track your tasks and activities using this. I'd recommend using it for a week or maybe even two weeks. And then that's gonna give you a good idea of what you are on average spending time on things. And you can create a report at the end that's gonna really shed a lot of light on what you're doing. So this is what Toggle looks like. You can create a free account. You do not need the paid version of this as it has all of the time tracking features that we need in order to do an audit of how you're spending your time. So this is what mine looks like at the moment, just on my timer page. I've got a little bit of a breakdown here of how I've been spending this week. This is all just for demo purposes, by the way. Um, this actual week is technically Christmas week, so I haven't been doing other actual work work that it says on here. This is just for demoing to you guys, but you can see how it's kind of created these chunks of time um, and told me what activities I've been doing within that time. So you get to set these activities up. You can call them whatever you like, and these are called projects. And then it's telling you how much of your week you have actually spent on this. Um, and if you go onto the reports bit, you can see um, it for the week. Um, and again, you've got a little pie chart here. So depending on how you like to view data and information, you can see it in that little, um, uh, this kind of line view if you want. Um, and then also there's a pie chart view here. And if you hover over each color, um, it will tell you what the activity was and how many hours you spent on it that week. Um, but if you don't want to see it for the week and you want to see it for the day, so how long you've spent doing something in a day, you would click um, on this and you can set a time period. I'm gonna to click today and then it will just, obviously today I didn't do anything, so let's go to yesterday um, and then it will show you that pie chart um, with the percentages of how you spent your time and on what activities. But how do these activities show up? First of all, you've got to create a list of activities that you do each day and each one of these would be classed as a project. So if we go into the projects section here, you can see this is what I've got as mine and you can add a new one by clicking up here. So let's just look through what I've got here already. So we've got blogging as a project um, and bookkeeping. And you can see that these two are in different colors. Now, when I go to create a new project, um, you can actually color code uh, the project yourself. And what I've chosen to do is keep any tasks that are in a similar kind of category. So for example, content creation, these are all in green. So I've kept the colors the same for these just so that I can kind of see um, all of the green stuff is content creation, but I am also um, therefore able to see the individual activities as well. So you can get as specific as you like with this. Um, maybe you want to split out doing Instagram research and actually creating Instagram graphics as two separate activities or projects. Um, they're called projects in here, sorry, I keep calling them activities, but in Toggle, you are calling them projects. Maybe you want to split those out into two separate projects. It's completely up to you. Um, I'm happy just seeing it as one thing like that. But as I say, I have been color coding each of these so that I can then see the kind of broader um, area of what I'm doing um, is content creation here. So then we've got bookkeeping. So this is just keeping my accounts up to date. I've marked this in purple and you'll notice that down here, any new request emails, so requests to work with me, this I've set up as a project and I've marked it in purple as well, um, along with other emails um, because I wanted to have purple as being my admin tasks, um, which I can then see. 
Um, and then we've got uh, a red color here, which is new client onboarding. Um, so that would actually be client work. So that's kind of in its own category there. Um, and I'm just gonna add a new project here so that you can see another example. So let's say Facebook group networking. And because that is kind of content creation or marketing in my eyes, I'm gonna set that as green so that it matches blogging and Instagram. It will still show up as a separate activity in my um, kind of reports and everything. So I will be able to see it in a more granular way, but um, I just find it helpful to have the same colors there. Um, workspace, when you first create a toggle account, um, it will just set up an automatic workspace for you. Um, obviously, if you're part of a couple of different companies may, and they're all using toggle, that might be a situation where you need multiple workspaces, but don't worry about that for now. That is just meaning that it's your account basically. You can also apply a project to a client, which you can add as well, which I'll just show you once I've added this. So if we create, I've now got Facebook group networking is a project which I can now track my time for. Um, and what I mean by clients is um, if we go into the clients area here, um, this is empty at the moment. Let's just create a new client called client one and click create. So this has created a new client here and I can delete them or edit it there. Um, and if we go into projects now, what I can now do is create a project um, and attach it to a client. Um, so if we were to say, for example, um, branding, which would be client work. So I'm marking that in red. I can then attach this project to a specific client and then click create. And then if we scroll down, that has added the um, project or activity of branding attached to that client. So um, what you'll want to do is for a few days or a week, if you can do this and stick with it that long, the more data you have, the more useful it is. Um, you want to remember to actually track when you are changing activities, when you are doing different tasks in your business. So what you can do is you can either have your browser window open like this inside the toggle website like this, or you can go and download the toggle browser extension. Um, it depends what browser you're using, but I'm pretty sure they have um, an extension for different browsers. So if you just type in toggle extension, this will take you to the browser extension page where you can download it. So install the Chrome extension. Let's go. It takes you straight here. I'm using Chrome, so let's add it to Chrome, add the extension to my browser and then we'll just need to log in. So get rid of that in a minute. I'm logging in via Google. So it's gonna reload the Toggle website and then you're gonna to have to just make sure that you've got your Toggle um, extension pinned to your extension panel up here. And we will talk more about Chrome extensions later in the course uh, for details on this. But for a moment, you just want to make sure that it's up here. And you'll notice it is this little on button or off button up here in the top um, right hand corner. So if we tap that, we have got a basically mini version of your toggle um, account on here. So you can see some of your previous uh, time tracking, but this just makes it super easy. You could be doing whatever you're doing. Maybe let's say you're creating a blog post. Um, that's one of your tasks for today. Um, before you get started with it, just remind yourself to go up here and click the little toggle button click the play button um, and then what it will do is automatically start tracking you. Um, when you click stop, it's added some time tracking in there for you um, and you can fill in what you are actually doing here. And what you can do is select an existing project that you've already created. So I was blogging, don't worry about the tags, just click done and then that is going to add it to your toggle um, area here. So I can see already today I've spent six seconds blogging um, there. So you can do it super quickly just by clicking the play button or for quick access, again, you can just scroll down to one of the activities you've been doing recently and just click the play button on that and it will automatically start timing you for today. 
Again, just remember to click stop whenever you're done um, and that will add it to your day. You can actually click on this and as I said before, you can change what project that was related to. Um, you can also delete that time tracking from there as well. And you can give more detail is what this what are you doing question is asking you um, if you want to add more uh, information about what you're actually doing. So for a few days, just as you change tasks, remember to track what you're doing. Just click the play button and it will just set a timer in the background until you press stop and then it will add it to your overall time tracking uh, report, which you can come in here and look at. As I say, you can view it by the week um, and see how many hours you spent on each activity in the week or you can come in and do it by the day as well. Um, daily reports are available there too. Um, now, whilst you're doing activities, you might be suddenly doing something that you hadn't written down um, as a project before. So just come into here and create it as a new one. Um, be as specific as you'd like. Um, just come in, create the new project and then start tracking for it. It's really interesting doing this because I think when you first write down a list of all the activities that you do in your business, you do tend to forget some. Um, so it's really interesting to see what it is you actually get up to. So you'll be able to see here um, what sort of time you're spending on things and what activities you're actually doing. So I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you are interested in creating a more streamlined business, getting clearer on your goals and creating a system in your business where you truly feel organized, then check out my course, The Organized Business Blueprint. Doors are open for it right now, but they close on the 21st of October. And in this course, we're basically going to be spending four weeks on creating you an organized business system and doing some mindset work to help you feel clearer and calmer in your business. If that sounds like something that you could use help with, go ahead and check out the link in the video description to go and find out more about what we cover, what's included in it, and a link to join before the 21st of October as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back again soon with another video.